All right, guys, leg lifts, guys. This is for lower abs predominantly. Again, the general rule is when you bring your legs toward your body, whether it's hanging abs or leg lifts, that's a lower ab movement. So this is a, a very basic, no weights required leg lift. Now you can add, add complexity to it by having your upper body in a crunch position. So my shoulder blades are off the ground, my hands behind my head. If that bothers your lower back, then put your hands on the ground, palms down, or under your butt. But you're just raising your legs slowly up toward the sky. Don't go past uh, vertical uh, and lower them down slowly close to the ground without touching the ground. Here we go, in eight seconds. Raise them up, go down slowly. Raise them up, go down slowly. In three, and two, and one. Let's go bicycles, guys. I love bicycles because, again, they work the obliques, right? They love handles. The I used to be in love handles. All we're doing simply here is hands behind your head without pulling your neck, right? So you're not really pulling on your head. Your hands are just placed there. You want to twist your elbows and drive them toward the opposite knee, right? Maximize the leg movement on that leg so that you're, you're making the, the oblique work as much as possible. If you shorten that movement with the leg, with the knee bend, your oblique is not forced to work as much. So really open up the leg each time and then bend it each time, maximizing the movement of that leg. Right elbow to left knee, left elbow to right knee. Here we go, six. Good job, you guys. Four, twist, three, twist, two, one. or some call these reverse crunches. So find a bench, a soft bench, put your butt in the middle of the bench so you're on balance and won't fall backwards and be embarrassed. You wanna lean back as your legs extend, right? That balances your body out. And you wanna bring your knees to your, your chest. Try not to kick the heels down. Try to keep the heels up if you can and bring the knees all the way to your chest, squeezing the abs throughout the whole movement. Okay, the lower you get, obviously, the more you lean back, the harder it is and the more your core works, right? But again, try to keep your heels up and so you're not kicking down with the heels. You bring your heels over an imaginary object and bringing the knees toward your chest. Here we go in three, and two, and one. Right, guys, dumbbell straight leg deadlifts, a great way to work the hamstrings and the glutes, okay? We don't do enough hamstring work or glute work, so a great way to do that safely is with a straight leg deadlift with dumbbells. All right, so the dumbbells are close to the body, literally almost grazing your body as you go down. You wanna drive those dumbbells toward the tongue of your shoe, not to the toes going away from your body, but to the tongue of your shoe. You're gonna come up slowly, again, keeping the dumbbells close to the body the whole time. At the very top, you go neutral grip, that's hands to the side, that gives your back a little bit of rest at the very top. Go down slowly, coming up, drive through the heels, and go neutral grip at the top. Two, one. All right, straight leg sit-ups, guys. These are great because your body doesn't have much support in the way of your lower, your legs being bent uh, or your hands behind your head. So it's all lower abs, some hip flexor, and it's a, it's a extended, advanced version of a sit-up, right? Having your body long means the levers are longer. Your arm lever and your leg levers are longer, which means the motion, the exercise is more challenging and more difficult. You wanna open your hands all the way up and reach all the way back each time to lengthen that lever and then come up toward the toes. Go back nice and slow, come up, reach toward the toes, come back nice and slow, up and reach toward the toes. Here we go in four, three, two, one. All right, 
right, guys, mountain climbing is one of the best ways to work your lower abs. Again, whenever we bring our feet toward our upper body, that works lower abdominal area, right? But mountain climbers might be one of the best ways to work cardio, one of the most underrated ways to do cardio. All you're doing here, again, is bringing your knees, alternating knees, to your chest, right? The full range of motion is suggested and recommended. The longer the movement, the more your obliques work, the more your lower abs work. So you wanna extend that leg out and bring it all the way to your chest. One way to modify it and make it more intense actually is to add sliders to the movement and keep your feet on the ground and forcing your lower abs to work throughout the whole duration of the movement. All right, guys, leg lifts, guys. This is for lower abs predominantly. Again, the general rule is when you bring your legs toward your body, whether it's hanging abs or leg lifts, that's a lower ab movement. So this is a, a very basic, no weights required leg lift. Now you can add complexity to it by having your upper body in a crunch position. So my shoulder blades are off the ground, my hands behind my head. If that bothers your lower back, then put your hands on the ground, palms down, or under your butt. But you're just raising your legs slowly up toward the sky. Don't go past uh, vertical uh, and lower them down slowly close to the ground without touching the ground. Here we go. In eight seconds, raise them up, go down slowly, raise them up, go down slowly. In three, and two, and one. <laughs> 